It's a proper misty November morning here, but we just had one. Terry's had a lovely 23 pound nine ounce common. We got here just after first light and saw, I think it was one big fish show a couple of times over the spot Terry baited last week. Looked like a big mirror, didn't it? Big black head sticking out. Um, and how long have the rods been out? Not long, was it? I hadn't been out long at all, uh, half hour or so. And I'd already had an occurrence on the other yeah. rods, you know, which I'm I thought it was a liner, but in hindsight, I think it had dumped the rig, whatever it was, got rid of it. But. Yeah, and then this one, this one trickled off. Nice fight in the deep water, and this lovely old common turned up. So um, we're feeling confident of another bite. Hopefully, that big fish that showed earlier on comes along. But Terry caught this on a new coated braid that we're going to show you in a minute. Um, it's called Tungsten Loaded. We've been testing it for the last 12 months or so. Tell loves it, it's a really special product, um, excellent coated hook link material. So let's get this one back and then we'll have a look at it. That nice one, a nice old carp. Lovely fish. All right, yep, we're we'll getting back. Since we filmed the intro a couple of hours ago, we've had some pretty frenetic activity here. You've had three more, haven't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. No sooner as I get them out, they're, they're off again. The yeah. fish are rolling as well in between. So. That's it. They've been showing well. So over the bait you put in last week, um, so we've had another common and two mirrors. Uh, we've still got the two mirrors in the net, actually. We've got to get them out and photograph them and that yet. But um, we're sort of against the light with the time of the year it is. So we want to get this little video done to show you the new tungsten loaded coated braid. Um, now, you've been involved in the testing this tail, haven't you? Um, I think you started using it sort of, was it early early this year? I can't remember now. Last year? Was it last year? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. on the Thames. So um, it's been sort of over 12 months in development and uh, it, everyone who's used it, not just Terry, me and various other anglers we sent it out to, have been absolutely raving about it. It's, um, it's certainly the best coated braid I've ever seen, the way it behaves and everything. What we're going to do is we're doing it in two different stiffnesses a soft and a semi-stiff. They both have the same braided core, um, which is an ultra-strong, soft Dyneema core, and the, the um, coating dictates the stiffness. So we've got a really soft one, and one that's sort of semi-stiff, perfect all-rounder. So when would you use the two different um, stiffnesses, Tell? Right, well basically, um, most of the time I go for the semi-stiff one. Yeah. Um, which isn't that stiff, you know, like don't, mm. don't sort of be fooled into thinking it's a really, really stiff hook link. It's not. No. Um, it's just a little bit less soft than what the other one is, you know. But I started off using the semi stiff, and that's pretty much the one I've stuck to for most of the time. But that's with heavy baits. Yeah. You know, if I was going to go for a, like a, a light balance presentation, say a little bit of plastic corn, um, with a little bit of maize underneath it or something, something that's slow sinking, then I'd be more inclined to go for the softer one. And you use you know, a smaller hook yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the same as any presentation, really. Mm. You know, the lighter the bait, the softer, or fit, in the case of mono, you'd go thinner. Yeah. If you're using a single maggot or a bit of bread flake, you know, you wouldn't expect to get away with 15 pound line no, straight right. through. Whereas with um, an 18 mil boilie, you know you could get away with 15 pound yeah. line, you know, because yeah. it's a heavy bait. So basically the lighter the baits, I go for the softer, softer hook link and uh, the stiffer one I use for heavy baits. Right, excellent. But this, this, this is the stiffer one. Yeah, so you've got, you got a sort of a, a boilie and a, yep, a, a large boilie. grain of maize. That's a heavy boilie straight out of the bag uh, with a real piece of maize underneath yeah. it. Um, the way I like to fish this rig, you know, trapping the, the hair at the bend, 
I see a lot of people making the mistake of using balanced baits with it, mm -hmm. um, or even a little bit of plastic on with a real boilie, and you really don't want that. Right. You know, like you want a heavy bait. That's how this rig works so well. Yeah. You know, like you, it, it will turn every, even when the hook's facing upright, it will turn every single yeah. time. But yeah. that's due to the weight of the bait. Yeah. And obviously in water, it's going to act, you know, different, totally different. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, always heavy baits. Excellent. I mean, I I've used it a bit myself. Um, I use I, I really like this rig, uh, especially combined with tiger nuts. Um, I've got two balanced tiger nuts there, with a, a new size for a classic straight pattern that will get launched next year, and a short. Again, this is the semi stiff, four to five inch length. Um, and on that particular rig, I had a couple of forty pounders in the morning from a low stock, unfortunately non publicity water early this year, but that absolutely nailed them. I've also used it as a boom on um, hinge stiff links. Looks like we've got another bite. We'll have to cut here, I think. A bite or a liner? I'm not sure. I think it... now it's a bite. It's a bite. <laughs> cut. Keep talking, Terry. Dave, you're in it as well. Yeah. Well, it's de definitely a carp. That's both my nets in action. So Dave's gone off to get his net, luckily. There you go, mate. Thanks, mate. Feels a bit slower and ploddier. That's promising. You can never tell really in this deep water, can you? But no. it, does, it does feel good. Well, I don't think we expected this sort of level of action up here. No. It's had wind storm in the, the year, past. Especially. It's been thick mist all day. Yeah, it's covering a, covering a bit more ground this one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's on top out there, all the way out there, look. Yeah. So it wants to get to that island. They certainly like that little bit of visual on that maze, don't they, Tell? Yeah, yeah, it does make a difference. It's salted as well. Yeah. That's another reason for using that rather than the plastic. It's, mm. you know, it's got a lot of attraction coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty snag along there, isn't it? So, yeah. Oh, it's looks like you're winning. Another scaly one. Yep. Just flick the dorsal end, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, mate. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Tell. Number five. It's good here, isn't it? <laughs> Right. I think we'll put that one back out later. <laughs> it's going to be dark <laughs> before we know it. I've got a serious rig tying session to be doing. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of rigs. Right. Where was we? You were talking about been using it for boom sections. That's it. Wasn't boom you? sections on hinge stiff rigs is perfect for that. Um, and also, you know, it's a little D rig that I like to use with balanced tigers, or it's just a sort of standard, standard combi rig, really. Um, but it's very versatile stuff. Now, the coating itself, is um, it's very tough, very abrasion resistant, but it's also nice and easy to strip. Um, very easy to smooth out. 
you don't really need to steam it, you can straighten it out straight off the spool and it just behaves perfectly. It's, the, it's In that respect, it's the best coated braid I've certainly ever seen. And I know you, you're a stickler for coated braids, aren't you, Tel? Yeah, you I, love it. I've, I, everyone that ever comes out in the market, whoever, you know, I always have a look at them, yeah. always play with them. Um, and this is definitely the best one I've ever used. Brilliant. Like, you know, I really, really do like it. It's not just that. Some, some of them are, are, have got the right properties, but then the colours are all wrong. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And this is just the right colour, you know. I always prefer darker rather than pale. And this is a lovely dark olive green. And the black flecks along it are just brilliant. It really does disappear. It does, you know, it? But Yeah, it breaks it up nicely. I love it. I can't, can't rate it enough. So we've got, it's available in, in the olive green that Terry's got here, the weedy green as we call it. Um, a nice camo brown, a nice sort of dark dirgy brown, and also choddy silt, which is, is black basically, with some very subtle grey flecks on it, whereas the green and the brown have got black flecks on them. Um, as I said about the coating, you can tie virtually any knot with it, grinner, figure of eight loop, whatever you want to do. The coating doesn't fracture on the knot at all. You can tighten it right down. Even after you've played a fish, you look at the coating, it hasn't fractured at all. So. All in all, it seems to it absolutely ticks all the boxes. It's available on 10 metre spools, and the spool that we've moulded for it, as you can see, it's a nice square shape, perfect for fitting in all the popular plastic tackle boxes. It's got the line retaining plastic flanges on the edge, um, which are nice and soft, so don't, there's no way they can damage the coat or anything like that. And it's going to be out very soon. Um, it's certainly the best coated braid we've ever seen, so if you're looking for something different in your armoury, I suggest you give it a try.